Do you hate forgetting what you have just learned? If you are like me and hate forgetting what you have just learned, the next few minutes will change all that if you put it into practice. Hi, I'm Benjamin, author of 18 math guidebooks and personal tutor to more than 2,500 students over the last 20 years. You see, in my trade, it is very important for me to help my students remember what they have learned. But first, let us understand what we are dealing with. Hundreds of studies have shown that only 25% to 50% of what we have just learned stays in our head after one day. That's like forgetting more than half of what we have just learned in one day. And here's more. What percentage of information do we retain using our different senses? Here's what the study show. We remember 10% of what we read, 20% of what we hear, and 30% of what we see. And if we hear and see at the same time, we remember 50%. And here's the most important part. We remember 70% of what we say and write and 90% of what we do and apply. This is why it's so important for students to say and write what they see and hear and to cement it all do. But what does that mean? Well, I teach math and for me, it means that it is really important for my students to write down and apply what they have learned. I make my students put the techniques they have just learned into practice because when they practice, they remember. And of course, that makes my job easier because when they remember, they do well. And here's something that's kind of sad. Many of the students that I come across think that they are stupid because their friends seem to remember things easily while they are always struggling. I find that really sad because it just isn't true. The truth is that the smart students just have a better system for revision. And the best part is, this can be learned. Today, you will learn a simple memory system that will be, well, easy to remember, just so that I'm not being ironic and contradict myself. It is the one, one, one memory system. There are two important principles required to achieve long-term memory. Number one, revision is required to convert short-term memory into long-term memory. Number two, revision must be spread out between sessions for the revision to be effective in achieving long-term memory. So, what is this powerful one, one, one memory system? Simply revise in three sessions. One day later, one week later, one month later. Then, short-term memory becomes long-term memory. And you will find that each revision session will get shorter and shorter. But how do we make that even more effective? Here's a couple of tips. Tip number one, always make good, simple notes. Write it up, don't type it out. Tip number two, put your revision plan into a calendar so that you don't have to remember when to revise. You should keep that precious 
memory reserved for information that you actually need to retain. Top students do not have a better memory than other students. They simply have a very good system of revision to help them remember what they study. So go ahead, practice this one, one, one system and soon you and your kids will look like prodigies. If you found this video useful, please share it with your family and friends to help them overcome the pain of forgetting. Oh, and remember to subscribe. If you would like to have more free resources to help your child excel, join my Telegram group found in the description below. I'll see you again.